Hey everyone. Okay, so this is my DIY German schmear tutorial. This is the way that I did it. I wound up using, I think it's called Paris of Plaster. I'll find it and I'll post it in the link below. Uh, but I used that. I mixed it with some regular acrylic paint. Okay, so I am doing a little bit more on this fireplace. And so the mixture that I have it seems like there's like this kind of grayish or ash or whatever kind of hue to it. So when I, you, you really can apply as many coats as you feel necessary. I'm just going over the spots where I feel like it's a little bit more sparse so you can see some of the up close moments where I go in and am kind of reapplying. Okay, so for instance, right here, I'm doing more of a dab or a blot. You can use a sponge if you like. I felt like this was a little bit better just because I could control it better and it wasn't as messy. But I'm just going over it until I get the desired look. Initially, that hue that I was talking about was just because it had not completely dried. I guess it's just the way that the plaster looks before it sets. But as I continued to go, when I like walked off and came back, I noticed that it was the color that I liked, which is what you see. This mantelpiece right here, uh, we plan on going behind it and making it like a dark chocolate color um, because I don't want everything white. I'm a very much a perfectionist and I know what I want to see in my own mind. So I'm just going to get a little more. Okay, so one more thing I want to make mention of, as I'm going up close, I want you to notice where like the, I guess that's the excess cement, um, that actually made for a better schmear to me, because it really did look like the brick was actually, you know, aged. So I thickened up, as if you can see, around the edges, it's a lot more heavy as far as the coating, and then again, just going back, dabbing, dabbing to your desired uh, consistency or result. Okay, so I'm going to bring your attention right here. I actually made a mistake. Uh, when I first started, I was just going over everything, but as I continued to go, I was like, I don't want it to look like it's just painted with white paint. I really wanted to look, have the schmear thing pop out. And so the grout, I'm going to have to go back and fill that in. And I have an idea for how I'm going to get that done. I will let you know. But that was a mistake. Other than that, I like the direction that the project is going. It looks really, really good. Just footage of that area that I filled in too much. I had already started working on that a little bit. Red acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, and my chalk paint. And I stirred them together until I came up with this brown that pretty much matched what the grout already was. So that's all I did. And I took that little brush right there and I went in between and I just kind of, again, dab, 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 dabbed my way through there. Once I started getting a little higher up, I had to call my gentle giant, Mr. Joshua, and he didn't even need a ladder. As you can see, those wonderful long arms, he was able to reach up pretty far. Mr. Joshua, he does not do ladders, nor do I, so we called the hubby in to finish the rest. Joshua did a great job. I really appreciated his help. He got a lot done for me. And so the last thing that I did was, oh, there's the mantle that I was talking about right there. Beautifully done by my hubby. Um, but here's the grout that I was saying that I fixed up right there and I didn't just make it perfect. As you can see, I worked around and played around with even the over kind of spill of the white that was in there. So I just continued to dab and do the exact same process that I did with the chalk paint. Uh, the mantle looks wonderful. That color that's on the mirror is actually what I mixed the paint to be. And instead of the ropes that you previously saw, I removed those and painted the mirror that color. So let me know if you think I slam dunked this DIY. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that fire. And yeah, let me know what you think. So let's take some stones. We're gonna make